Okay. So this is a numerical calculation for a problem in physics. And for this specific numerical calculation, I'm going to be seeing the interaction between an asteroid nearing the Earth and seeing what effect that has on the momentum of the asteroid. So here I have the mass of the asteroid, which is 1,500 grams, the velocity vector, the position vector, and this line of code here, line 6, solves for the momentum of the asteroid. Line 7 and 8 are just setting up the time and time steps. Obviously, we want to start at 0 seconds. And every 100 seconds, I'm going to update the momentum and position and see what it is. Well, I actually don't update position, but I could, like here, if I wanted to. But here, we're just going to do momentum for now. And so, in order to do this, I need the magnitude and the unit vector of the position. And the reason I need that is for this formula right here. This is calculating the net force. And since these are two objects in space, and it's just two masses, we have to use this formula. And this is the mass of the Earth, and this is the G constant for this formula. So with this formula, we can now go down to our loop. And so while t is less than 1,500, 1,500 seconds, every 100 seconds, since dt is 100, I'm going to update time, update momentum. I'm going to print time. I'm going to print momentum. And then I'm going to plot the x component of the momentum and see the effect as time increases. And we can see from both the points and the graph that our x value is getting smaller as time increases. And the same goes with our y value. You can see with the y value the time, or you can see with our y value that the momentum actually is decreasing in the y as well. And you can even plot this and do p1.y here instead of p1.x. And you can see that it's going down in their values on this line. And it's a constant downward slope in both the x and y direction. And yeah, this is a numerical calculation of physics. And there are other things you can do, but this is just what I've done for this problem. I just want to see the momentum at different times for this asteroid. And that is all.